Hi, my name is Rachel Zara. I'm a singer-songwriter from Montreal, Canada, and I was captured in the spotlight. This is an original song called Broken Friendships, and I hope you enjoy. We spent years of rainy days leaning against each other's shoulders. Little did I know that she would change. You knew everything about me as a kid. We got older, knowing all the thoughts inside each other's brain. But what happened to you and I? We used to be up in the sky, and now we're almost buried under. time but she was never really wise so why have you switched over now to her I hope you enjoy that and now I have some questions to answer question number one is what does music mean to you hmm. it's a very very interesting question because personally music is my way of expressing myself and I don't really have any other ways um, I've some I've some issues telling people how I feel when 
when something's going on in my life. And music is my way of telling people how I feel. Um, if, if I'm upset or um, something's going on in my life, instead of telling it to people directly, I'll, I'll write it into lyrics. And um, if I'm feeling sad, mad, or angry, then I'll make that feeling into a chord progression and I'll mash those two aspects together and that's how I make a song. So music really is my life. Music, I, I don't know where I would be without music. Next question is... What is your earliest memory of music? My earliest memory of music? I love that question. Um, when, I was, when I was little, when I was a baby, um, my mom and my grandmother used to play me Jackie Ivanko um, on, on a CD. And that was the only thing that would put me to sleep every night. Um, I grew up listening to that, and when I was four years old, um, my dad started to sing me lullabies of some old classic song songs, and one of them was The Spanish Train by Krista Berg. And that particular song I found so interesting that I, I, I just wanted to know how, where stories come from. And after that, um, I started to write stories of my own. And that's kind of how I started writing music. So it all started there. Who are your three musical inspirations? My three musical inspirations. Number one is Billie Eilish. Um, her storytelling uh, is so impressive. I, I really wish I was able to tell stories like her. I look up to her when it comes to that. Number two is her. Not her, but her, as in having everything revealed. Um, her has such a beautiful voice. Her, her vocal control is something that I wish I had. And, um, I listen to her play her guitar and sing over and over again. And I think, I, I think about how I could play my guitar and sing just like her. Um, and my third musical inspiration is, um, my vocal coach, Michelle Tracy, who is a well-known artist here in Canada, she actually won the TV show, The Launch, and um, her music inspires me so much. Um, I don't know where I would be without her. She's like an older sister to me, an older musical sister. Um, next question. What is your five-year music goal? Five-year music goal. Um, first of all, I, I would like to have released a single by then, released an album, and um, COVID will probably be over by then. It will be. Um, so... I would like to be performing on stage at least every weekend. Um, I love performing on stage. I, I really miss it and it's something that I want to do and that I want to continue doing, but I want bigger audiences and I want to build a fan base. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my five year musical. Next question. How did you discover Captured in the Spotlight? How did I discover Captured in the Spotlight? I was watching the late night news with my mom and I heard about Captured in the Spotlight. They were, they were um, interviewing some artists that were on Captured in the Spotlight. And I found it so interesting. And I thought I should apply. And I did. Um, next question. What did you think about the idea of it was captured in the spotlight? Um, it was captured and captured in the spotlight are really important during these times especially because... Artists have nowhere to perform. Artists are looking to build fan bases. And now especially, it's really hard to build fan bases because we're all stuck inside. But at the same time, there's social media and there's Captured in the Spotlight, which helps artists build a fan base. And this is it's also really important because some people who are not artists are looking to find new music and Captured in the Spotlight and it was captured really goes both ways and helps people both ways. And I believe that is our last question. Um, this was great and I hope you enjoyed. Bye everyone. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. My Instagram is Rachel Dara Music. My Facebook is Rachel Dara, capital R, capital B, and no space. And my YouTube is just my name, Rachel Dara. And you can check out my website too, www.racheldara.com. Bye, everyone.